Welcome to the Money Show on Holton Wise TV. I'm Bailey and I'm here to help you get your money right. Today we're going to talk about how to get out of credit card debt faster. It literally took me three years to pay off one freaking credit card. It's literally the worst freaking debt in the whole freaking world. In America, the average credit card rate is 18% where it can go as high as 30%. That's a lot of money to be wasting. We've all established we hate credit card debt. Now we're gonna explain the fastest way to get out of it. The first thing you need to do is take a look at your credit cards, write down the amount and the interest rates. For example, we have a chart here for you. The Discover card is $3,000 with a 24% interest rate. The Visa card is $700 with an 18% interest rate. MasterCard, $600 with a 12% interest rate. Victoria's Secret, $1,200 with a 21% interest rate. So now let's say that you're in this predicament. So you have this list. What you want to arrange them in is that by the interest rates. You need the highest interest rate at the top and the lowest at the bottom. This is called the avalanche method. So now we have the list with the Discover card at 3,000 first, 24% interest rate, the Victoria's Secret card in second, $1,200 with a 21 interest rate, the Visa in third, $700 and the 18% interest rate, and last of all, we have the MasterCard 600 with a 12% interest rate. So now that you have this list, what you need to do, you need to pay the minimum payment on two, three, and four. B and you need to start paying the most money you possibly can on the first credit card with the highest interest rate. Cause you're not, you are literally losing money if you pay on all of them that, cause you're not gonna beat that high interest rate. You're losing more worrying about the other ones instead of worrying about the highest interest rate. So once you pay off the first card with the highest interest rate, you'll go down to the card number two with the second highest and you'll keep doing that down the list until you pay off all the cards. Some people believe in the avalanche method where the other method is snowball, which Dave Ramsey tends to talk about a lot. The difference with the snowball method is you're gonna pay off the smallest debt first. So this is the example we have. The MasterCard would be first at $600 with a 12% interest rate. The Visa, $700 with an 18% interest rate. Number three, Victoria's Secret, $1,200 with a 21% interest rate. Number four, the Discover card with 3,000 and a 24% interest rate. So just like before, you're gonna pay the minimum payment on cards two, three, and four just so you avoid any additional fees. The reason why I don't agree with the snowball method compared to the avalanche method is because you're paying way more in interest when you do it this way. Where in all reality, you could be saving that extra money in interest, which I don't see how that's very smart because you're just costing yourself more money down the road. I feel like it's more of a mental state. You see the smaller numbers, you're like, ooh, that's a lot easier to pay than this big amount. But in all reality, the big amount is gaining more interest and it's getting bigger and bigger. So when are you really gonna pay it off? So pay off the smallest debt first, which is the MasterCard with the $600 balance. So I just explained the difference between the snowball and the avalanche method, which I don't know which one you guys prefer, but on some real talk, I'm gonna explain a story and you might see why I like it more. So last year I was actually in 10 grand of debt with credit cards. I managed to completely get out of it using the avalanche method. It saved me money on, I was paying one off and the higher you kept going and the lower it went, it kept helping. Like it was like just putting all the money I could on the biggest interest rate and it paid it down and there wasn't as much interest built as if I was paying the smaller one first. Because with the smaller interest rate, you really don't need to worry about it building too much interest where the higher interest rate is gonna like destroy you. One of my credit cards were 30% and that took me about three years to pay off. But when I finally used my common sense was like, oh, instead of paying off the little ones, I started paying on the bigger one and I got out of all my debt by doing the avalanche. If you guys have any other ways, we'd love to know, comment below. And if you guys wanna keep seeing me, keep up with The Money Show on Holton Wise TV. <laughs>
Welcome to another episode of the Investment Properties for Sale show. My name's Bailey and I'll be your host. What the hell are you doing, bro? What? You said the viewers wanted to see a hot chick in a bikini. Yeah, Bailey's going to be the host of the new money show. I'm still going to host the Investment Properties for Sale show. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from health. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.